Hello, welcome to the Freshman Research in, uh, Initiative Program at the University of Texas at Austin. We're excited to have you here at UT and join FRI uh, to work together as a team uh, to start research. The purpose of this information uh, session video is to uh, explain what the FRI program entails and cover what you can expect from FRI. So first, um, my name is Dr. Su Hen Yang, and I am the admissions and recruitment coordinator of FRI. And also I'm one of the faculty members running one of the FRI research streams. Uh, today, I would also like to introduce you to Dr. Kara Rogers, who is the director of FRI, and Dr. Lauren DePew, who is the assistant director of FRI. You should expect to hear from both Dr. Rogers and Dr. DePew early in the fall semester to invite you to the fall FRI events. So FRI is one of the largest undergraduate research programs around the state. And really the purpose is that during your freshman year, you will be learning about all of these discoveries and findings that have been proposed by several scholars around the world um, and absorbing all these information starting in your freshman year through your degree plan. At the same time with FRI, you will be an active member in this science community where you will be involved in answering questions that have never been answered and shared publicly in the science community starting in your freshman year. Another thing that I would like to emphasize is that while you are actively getting trained with the skills that you will need to do research and be involved in answering these questions uh, with the science community, you will also get course credit that counts towards your degree plan. So you'll basically getting the research experience and the course credit that you need for your degree plan at the same time through your experience with FRI. So here I do want to explain and go over a little bit about the terminology that you'll hear a lot from FRI. So research stream is a basically a lab where we do research mostly with undergraduate students and each research streams have up to about 40 undergraduate students um, that work together and in each stream has a common scientific goal or question that they want to work together to answer. A principal investigator are senior tenure track faculties who are affiliated with each research stream and the, the principal investigators basically oversee the big picture of the project that each research stream are, is, is working on. A research educator like myself are junior faculties here at the University of Texas at Austin and we are the faculties who will be working directly with our FRI students to not only train you, we'll work on training you uh, with the principles, the knowledge, the background that you will need uh, to do research, but also we'll train you with the actual techniques that you will need to do to further move on and work on your research project. At the same time, research educators will be basically advising you on your research projects that you'll be working on in your research stream. Peer mentors are one of the most important members in FRI. Peer mentors are actually students who have been through the full course in FRI in their college year, and they are continuing their stay in each FRI stream to assist a new incoming cohort uh, uh, to get adjusted and help them learn the process of doing research in each uh, stream. Uh, the FRI Stream Sort event is one of the major FRI events that each FRI student will need to participate. Um, and this is basically the process of selecting your top FRI streams that you would like to be considered to join in the following spring semester. And I'll just uh, explain more about the details about the Stream Sort event on the later slides. So in FRI, we do research across all disciplines. We do research in biochemistry, biology, uh, ecology, environmental science, robotics, computer science, mathematics, astronomy, chemistry, you name it, uh, we, we do it all. So really currently we have 30 FRI research streams. Um, and yes, there are lots uh, that you can hopefully explore and find uh, to uh, participate on doing research with. 
Here, I would like to show you and share a short video clip of one of our FI streams called Do It Yourself Diagnostic. And it's, uh, and it's a video about showing undergraduate students uh, doing research and developing a tool to detect COVID-19 on campus. Meanwhile, UT professors like Tim Rydell are finding ways to have students engage with the pandemic through science education. I am a really lucky person. I get to lead teams of undergrads that early in their college experience start doing real research. And so my particular team for the last uh, seven years has been working on infectious diseases and making tests to test for the diagnostic tests. So I'm hoping to kind of develop a map of where the virus is persisting in the UT environment. We're actually hearing a little bit of a COVID environmental sampling. We're thinking about high touch and high traffic areas such as doorknobs, uh, handles, and tables. Those kind of surfaces where, uh, where we think that uh, COVID may lie. We're going to sample those uh, surfaces, uh, disinfect them afterwards, we extract that process, and then we purify it. If there's any COVID virus in there, um, or any uh, like fragments of the virus, it's going to tear it apart and get down to its RNA. So that's how we're going to basically quantify, determine the amount of potential virus that ended up on that surface. So that was a really interesting video and you might have saw some like equipments that look unfamiliar and that's completely fine. FRI guarantees you that we will be training you with all those techniques that you do become familiar with using those tools and actually be involved in answering these scientific questions. And like, as you can see from this video, the research that you'll be doing with FRI is not like some type of a practice. It's actually a real ongoing research project. Like you're actively involved in something that hasn't been answered starting in your freshman year. So, Right now here, I would kind of like to explain about how the course of FRI works. So in your first semester in college, which is your fall semester, uh, you will be taking your introductory courses, you know, that counts towards your degree plan, and you will all be in a small community uh, and taking courses within your small communities like a fig or pods. Um, and so while taking those courses with FRI, uh, you, it will be invited. So the actual research in FRI will actually start in the spring semester. So what happens in the first semester in college as an FRI student? In the fall, early in the fall, FRI students will be invited to our FRI meet and greet event, which the purpose is to introduce you to all of the 30 FRI research streams to give you the opportunity to meet each of the faculty members and the current students and mentors in each stream so that you have a better idea of what the stream is about and also, of course, about the research. And the main purpose of the meet and greet event is to help you better have an idea, learn about the FRI streams and decide which FRI stream that you would like to join in the following spring semester. On top of the meet and greet event, there's much, uh, we have this open house event where you get to visit the FRI labs or, uh, or the offices. Uh, in person or virtually. We'll see how that works this fall. But anyways, that's another way to give you a little bit more time to interact with the members in each FRI stream so that you do have a better understanding of what you can expect from each FRI stream. And then what's most important is later in the, in the middle of the fall semester, you will be required and asked to participate in the FRI stream sort event, which is basically where you select your top five FRI research streams that you would like to join, consider to join in the following spring semester. So as an FRI admin, to sec it, what it means is as long as you participate in the FRI stream sort event, you are guaranteed to do research in an FRI stream in the following spring semester. However, if you do not participate in, in the stream sort event, which means if you do not submit your five selections of the FRI streams that you would like to join, your seat will be released, okay? Um, so just make sure that you do participate. 
So anyways, towards the end, once you have submitted your FRI stream selection uh, form by participating in that stream sort event, you will be notified to which stream you have been placed into it at the end of the fall semester, if not er uh, early in January. And along with that, you'll not only be notified which stream you have been placed with, but you'll also be uh, given a course uh, credit like uh, that you need to register to secure your seat in that FRI stream. And the course credits, uh, if you are placed in an FRI stream or if you have selected FRI streams that uh, meets similar to your degree discipline, you will likely be offered a course credit that counts towards your degree plan. And again, you will need to uh, register that course to secure your seat in FRI. Normally, the course credit that you get in the first semester are lower division lab credit. Again, that counts towards your degree plan if you are uh, joining a stream that is uh, similar to your uh, degree discipline. And in the spring semester, uh, in the beginning, you know, at least the first half of the spring semester, you will be introduced to the lab techniques. You'll be trained learning the principle and background of the research that you need to do. And so it's basically training you to have a better understanding and further apply what you learn on the actual scientific questions by doing the research on it. Um, during the spring semester, you will have also the option to apply for the FRI fellowship uh, to allow you to do research in the summer semester. So summer is an optional semester, uh, but again, you have the option to do research over the summer uh, through the FRI fellowship, if not as a volunteer. But the benefit of the summer semester is you do get more time to invest on doing your research, uh, research working on your research project, which does give you a head start uh, on the research. Another thing is during the summers, uh, you do get the opportunity to work closely with the members in your stream. So like you'll get more in contact with your faculty members, your mentors, but also your peer colleagues in the lab. Uh, further on, so then regardless of whether you do summer semester or not, students who have joined their stream in the spring semester are, all, are, are eligible to continue their stay in their stream in the following fall semester. And in the fall is really where you get to actually invest more and really focus more independently on your research project. Of course, every research stream might have a different structure of how they run the lab. And that's something that you might wanna explore and learn about during the FRI meet and greet and the open house events in, your, in the fall semester. So anyways, with FRI, your first research experience with FRI is gonna start in your second semester as a freshman, and it will go all the way through your first semester as a sophomore. Then you might think after my you know, two or three semesters with FRI, what's next? Is that it? Well, many students in FRI may want to use the research techniques and background that they've been that they gain through FRI on exploring research in other fields uh, in science in a different you know graduate level faculty lab and so that's another option and many FRI uh, all like UT is a really well like famous for its you know high level research and many faculty labs here at UT are aware of FRI and they do know how students are well trained with the research techniques and skills that will help with research and it does give students a head up heads up uh, a head start on joining these senior faculty labs to do uh, more research or you may be really interested in continuing the research that you have been working on in your FRI stream, and you get the option to continue the research in your FRI stream as an undergraduate researcher. Some students may find that they enjoy the mentoring part um, in their FRI stream, and they can apply to become mentors to assist the incoming courts uh, to learn the new techniques and share their own ideas of how to do research and learn all these backgrounds in each stream. Of course, another really important aspect about FRI is to really kind of give you an idea and sense if research is something for you. Is this something that you want to further like expand and continue in your college year or even uh, career wise? And you wouldn't really know if research is a good fit for you or not until you do it. And FRI will actually give you 
a really good idea and help you decide if research is something that you want to pursue and continue on in your college year, like early, starting in your freshman year. And again, if research is not, a, you find out research is not a good fit, that is still fine. And it'll still give you an idea to which area that you want to more focus on in your following uh, years in college. Um, so that's really how the course of FRI um, works. In addition to the research experience that we get, the FRI has been here for over 10 years and statistics studies over the 10 years have shown that CNS students who have been part of FRI have shown to have, so FRI students uh, have shown to have at least close to 20% uh, increased graduation rate with a STEM degree within four years at, in college. So this actually supports that FRI will not only support you with the research experience, but it will also support you with your academic skills. In addition to that, in FRI, you will be heavily trained on how to present your research in a written format, but also uh, orally through public speaking. You'll learn how to analyze your research data with logic. You'll learn how to collaborate with your faculty members, your mentors, and your colleagues in, in your lab. You'll gain leadership and ownership towards your uh, research project and uh, your, your work that you have in your FRI stream. So overall, while this is also very desired in science, but it's actually desired skills as any field in, uh, in your career and FRI, you will get these trainings through FRI as well. Another thing I would like to emphasize here is that whichever career goal that you have, at some point you may want a need uh, a recommendation letter from a faculty. And you want to think what is, you probably want a strong recommendation letter. And you might think, what is a strong recommendation letter? And I, I would say a very personalized letter is considered to be a very strong letter where I can only talk about this, which is very specific to one student. And to get a very personalized letter, you really need a very close interaction with the recommender. And so what I do want to say is earlier I said that FRI, we have about 40, only 40, like 40 students in up to 40 students in one stream. And there are at least one or two faculty members that are affiliated with each stream. This means that students in FRI do get close exposure and interaction with a faculty member at UT starting in their freshman year. So it does give you a high chance to get you exposed and have close interaction with faculty members here at UT Austin. Of course, again, UT uh, FRI is really famous and it's well known for the research that we do with our freshman years, uh, freshman students. And here, what I want to show is over the you know, 10 years, we have nearly 500 FRI students who have been listed as co-authors on scientific papers or external talks and posters, which is really amazing. To be honest, being an author on a scientific paper is actually can be challenging. Um, but again, as with FRI, you will get the opportunity to be involved in this process, to have get the chance to become an author in these scientific articles or present whichever work you did with your FRI stream at these undergraduate research forums, seminars, and conferences. And so here, what I want to uh, let you know is you also might want to hear about student experiences. So if you go to these following um, this website, you will be able to uh, hear about student testimonials from each FRI stream. So we hope that this could give you some idea of how each FRI stream is functioning. Um, and so then if you do have any questions, you know, feel free to email us at fridmissions at utexas.edu and we will make sure that we respond to your email within 24 hours business days. Um, so we hope this helped you have a better understanding of FRI and we look forward to seeing you soon at UT Austin. Uh, bye.